Hey, what's up, Sexy Samalander Squad? Uh, first off, thank you so much for clicking on the video and watching and trying to learn TFT with me. Uh, it's super kind of you and honestly pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I am recording this while streaming, just to get that right out of the way, because I'm still learning the game as well, and I need people to help me learn, just as I'm going to be trying to help you learn. And I need people to correct me if I say anything misinformative. Um... So right at the gate, we're just loading into the game. It is an eight-player free-for-all game where it's basically an auto chess game. Um, this is considered the beginning carousel where you pick your unit and your item. Mainly, you go for whatever item you want rather than what unit you want. So I think I'm going to go for this Zaya right here. I missed it. Um, I'll go for this Caitlyn. Caitlyn is the unit and the... Uh, the vest is obviously the item. This guy just said you guys are suck, which I thoroughly appreciate. So right here on the left, you'll notice that I have Chrono and Sniper. And basically, every um, every unit has two, two, three. Um, I don't really know what to call them. But like synergies, I'll call them. Every unit has two or three synergies. And each synergy does a different thing. And you can read those things right here. Chrono is attack speed and Sniper is damage per tile. Now these things don't actually activate until you um, have multiple of the same unit in. Or not the same unit per se, but the same synergy I mean. So, so right now I'm just putting in uh, units that don't really have the same synergy, but they are overall... Um, pretty decent units and let's just run over everything you get two x two xp um you get two xp for every round that goes by and you get um obviously down here you can see how much xp it takes to level so after this round i will level up to level three which will let me put in another unit you can only have um the number of units you have on the board are directly correspondent with how many levels you are so right now i have you know obviously um obviously i have three units on the board because i'm level three and these three units all have blade master synergy and i put that in and the blade master synergy is just an extra chance to like double their auto attacks a 30 percent chance to do two auto attacks instead of one Alright, I got a couple items there. Um, I have two chain vests, which together form a bramble vest. And one tier, which just gives a unit mana. Um, let's see, what do I want? I probably want rebel, because I think I'm going to go into the um, blade master rebel comp, which is called the bang bros comp. And I actually have a picture of it up on my other monitor. Not right now, but I'll pull it up later. Um... Because I got this early Master Yi, and he's a 3-cost unit, so it's really rare. And um, so I'm going to go for him. Now, I'm not putting any items on, because I think I'm going to lose streak early game. And right here, you can see the win streak or the lose streak. Depending on whichever streak you go, is you want to... It doesn't really matter if it's a loss streak or a win streak. What matters is that you maintain a streak in general. Because they both provide with the same gold. A 2-3 to three loss streak is 1 gold. 4 loss streak is 2 gold. 5 loss streak is 3 gold. So It's all just about um, trying to maintain, you know? And then there's also this, which is every 10 gold you get, you get 1 extra income. So you can see right here, if you look over it, my total income is 5. It's because I generate 4 income just for the round ending. And um, then I generate one more gold for every 10 gold I have. So if I have 50 gold, I generate five extra gold. It's, um, it's pretty complicated, but you get the hang of it pretty quick. And I'm just, uh, I'm trying to lost streak right now. I'm like full on inting and inting just means like you're, you're throwing the game. 
Oh, I mean, that's a smite term, so everyone should know it already. And yeah, so these are the real people right here. So you can see up top, um, these little sword things that you see, the crossed swords. That's when I fight a, a real enemy, like a real opponent. I think I'll just throw this in now because I need it anyways. And I think I don't want to. I don't want to slam all my items, but I will put the chain vest on him now because normally, uh, with um, Yasuo or Master Yi, sorry, that's this unit's name. You do want him to have a bramble vest later in the game because he's going to be your like kind of tanky unit. Um, so we're just doing this for later in the game. So, anyways, every round goes like this. There's five um, PvP rounds right here. This middle round is the carousel. And the carousel is basically just... Um, there's an item in the middle on a, on a unit. And you pick what item you are. The earlier you are in the, these picks down here, the earlier you get to pick your unit. And then at the very last section over here is a, um, a neutral round, which is basically just PvE round where you can get items and stuff. You cannot get items anywhere other than the carousel and the PvP, or sorry, the PvE rounds, the neutrals, unless you have space pirates equipped, which I do not, so don't worry about it. Um, I think I probably want... I probably want a Zephyr... So basically what Zephyr does, which is this item right here, um, what Zephyr does is it CCs the unit on the opposite side of wherever you place this. So let's say I place this in the bottom left, it will CC the, the top right unit on the enemy board whenever the fight starts um, for I think three to four seconds. It could be five. I have to read the ability to find out because I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, we do want a Zaya tier 2. And I actually... It CCs them for 5 seconds. So right now, I'm actually going to... Well, I don't want to lose Blade Master, right? Because Blade Master is what's giving my, my Master Yi something good in terms of damage. So I'll just buy this stuff and wait it out. The reason I'm buying this stuff is because it doesn't it doesn't hurt my income at all. As long as I stay over 20 gold, I'll still get the plus two. Um, so I might as well hold these for the time being. Until I can sell them for another income later, you know? And again, the reason I'm not placing all my items on something is because I want to lost streak. Because as long as I'm streaking, you know, in the game, um, I get extra gold for it. So now that I have a four lost streak, I'm getting plus two gold every round, which means now I'm getting eight gold per round instead of the usual four. Um, is there anything I want here? They don't go cybernetic, do they? Well, let me pull it up on my other monitor real quick. So this is the comp I see right here. Tap back into the game, sorry, so you guys can see it. It's Shen. Shen, Master Yi, Yasuo, Blitzcrank. I need a Blitzcrank. Well, this guy's really weak. I hope I don't win. No, he put down a Deathblade on his Ziggs. A Deathblade is that item right there, this one. Basically, it just gives him a lot of damage whenever he kills a unit. And it stacks up. So, we're good. We won't win. We're doing good, doing good. Yasuo Blitzcrank, that's really big. Because those are exactly the characters I need to make this work a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to level here because it doesn't cost me any income. I'm going to put in the, um, I'm going to put in the, the Yasuo and the Sona, which gives me Rebel, which is good. 
obviously. And this is just the PvE round, so we're chilling a little bit. Let's see what did these make. Static Shiv and Times Resolve. Alright, cool. So we have a Giant Slayer, a Guardian Angel, and a Shojin. Guardian Angel is really good. I think I want Blitzcrank in for Malphite right now and put the Sona in the back, maybe like this. With these guys in front, maybe Blitzcrank behind. I need a Shen right now. Shen is a unit that has Blade Master and um, I believe it's Chrono synergies, but I could be wrong. Alright, I think I might win this one, so I'm actually just going to slam my GA on this unit. And what GA does is basically just revives them um, back. You see right there, he died, but then he gets revived back. And I'm going to sell this unit so I get the 40 gold, so I get the extra income. Um, I don't know if I'll put another chain vest on him yet. Let's see, a Yi, that's really good. Zaya, I do want to put in, but I have to wait a little bit to put it in. I could level up and put it in now, but I don't think that there's a point in doing that yet. I'm going to actually just sell this. And I want Bramble on Yi. Bramble Vest on Yi, which is two vests, like I said earlier. So I think I am going to put this on him too. I want Master Yi to be my main carry. Oh my god, he's got a level 3 Graves. A three star graves. And he's got two Zephyrs as well. Oh my gosh. Zephyr is this character or this unit. I'm definitely losing this. Holy crap, this guy's really strong. Because I lost, I have to sell another unit in order to get to 50 gold for more income. So now I'm making 10 gold per round. I don't have any kind of streak with me though, which is really bad. Um, so now here's where we can get to some fun stuff. Basically, you can refresh the store right here for two gold to find new units, or you can buy um, XP, which will level you up faster, which is what I just did. You can only buy XP in four gold increments, which is basically like I pay four gold to get four XP. And there's no other way to do it. You get two gold for finishing a round and pay four gold for four XP. There's no way to get around it. But other than that, that's pretty much this. This guy leveled up. He pushed level six. You can see up here. So he's got six units in, which is going to make it uh, much harder for me to win. And I don't think I will. But it's okay, I guess. Um... How much does this sell for? Only three. I think I buy the Fizz here. So basically what I'm doing with this Fizz is it could let me transition into a different team comp, which could be really strong. Let's see, I don't really need anything here besides another GA. I could just go Fizz. I think I'm gonna go Fizz because I already have um, one Bramble Vest, or sorry, I already have one um, Chainmail. And with a Chainmail and a, this Attack Speed item, it can give me a item called Titan's Resolve, which is actually really strong on a Mech Pilot build. And Mech Pilot is what you saw in the other video. So I think I might transition over to Mech Pilot. I'm really low HP though. So I'm not sure. Um. Hmm. Let's see. I hit Blitzona. I'm gonna level up, and I'm gonna put in uh, Malphite, I guess. 
so that I get the brawler passive. And then I think I'm actually just going to sell these. And I'm going to roll straight up for just my items. Yeah, I'll roll one more time right now, actually. I think... Hmm. I don't know. Alright, at level 6, I don't want to try to push levels anymore. This is pretty much what level I want to sit here and roll at, because right here... As I mentioned before, every time you level, your chances for 1 cost, 2 cost, 3 cost, 4 cost, and 5 cost vary. And right now, I'm at... The perfect level for my team comp that I want to go for to uh, to roll down for my units. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to roll all the way down, obviously, but I'm going to roll a little bit down. Mm, I can get the Shen. I place I replace Fiora for Shen, um, which is what that unit was. I put this over here, I think. Okay, and uh, you don't want to roll too much. You want to keep your 50 gold so that you can keep your income coming in. So that you can keep going on, like, um, on leveling up, obviously, you know. Or, not even necessarily leveling up, but just so you can keep rolling for the units you need. Now, this guy is incredibly strong. This is the guy in first place. Um, so, I do not expect to beat him or even come close. He already has a 4 cost unit with a really, really good item on it, so... I'm just kind of chilling. Uh, I'm gonna roll down here. Yasuo Sona, I need Yasuo. I'm gonna roll down to about 40 gold because I'm starting to lose just a little bit too much. And I want to try to stop that if I can. <laughs> um, I do put Karma in to the team comp. I need some good items from this uh, from this PvP or PvE round. Okay, let's see. I mean, I think what I do with this Master Yi because he has two GAs on him. I think I sell him and I replace him. I get one GA on each unit. Um, and I Seraph my Sona so she heals more. And then I think I ZZ Rot my Shen, which is... Uh, Seraph basically is just... Um, you get mana. Every time you cast your spell, you get another 20 mana. Which just helps you cast your next spell faster. And ZZ Rot is an item where if you die, it summons a creature in your place to keep fighting. And that creature is stronger the higher level you have of that unit. And I have a, a two-star unit, so it summons a creature with 2,000 HP. Um, the reason I put those items on, even though they're not ideal for my team, is because I have 35 health and I need to start... I Like, go in kind of um, spooky mode, you know? <laughs> So let's see. Um, I think I want my Karma here. She basically buffs the unit she's closest to, which is why I put her towards my strongest unit. I missed a Yasuo because I'm garbage. Um, Sona's. I want Master Yi's. I want. I got another Master Yi. All right. So that will upgrade my Master Yi after this round. You can't upgrade during the round, which is okay, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, I sell Malphite because I don't need him anymore. Let's give Master Yi the attack speed. Alright, so we're starting to win a little bit more, which is perfect, because I really needed it. Um... And again, I'm rolling down. I'm not rolling too much. I'm rolling down just enough to hit some upgrades that I really need. I'm one Sona away from a Sona 3 star, which would be really big. So I think I am going to roll down quite a bit here, actually. Mm, please find it. 
It would be huge, please. I did not find it. That's really shitty. Okay, but at least we have a lot of... We're, we have a pretty strong board now. Um, which is good because we needed it. I really need to kill this unit right here. This Shaco is their carry unit, so I need to kill him. Nice. All right. We won that fight, which is strong. Uh, I would like this Shen, but I'm not going to buy it. So basically, I don't know if I mentioned this, but basically, in order to get three-star units, you have to get nine of the same unit. It's pretty dramatic, but it's also really smart. Um, okay, what do I want? What do I want? I think I want... I think I'll just take this Thresh. Because I don't really know what else I want. All I have right now is an Attack Speed item. Attack Speed plus Negatron Cloak, which is what the item I just picked up is. I don't really know. I don't really know what that builds yet. So we're learning. We're learning together. I'm confused. It ooh, it makes hurricane. Hurricane is not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna avoid the Master Yi right now. Because I really want to hit different upgrades. I'm one st I'm one unit away from level 3 Yasuo. I'm one unit away from level 3 Sona. And two units away from level 3 Blitzcrank. So I have a pretty strong board. This guy has an insanely strong board though. He's got two level 3s already. And he's going a really good uh, team composition. Yeah, I lose this one for sure. It won't kill me, but it'll do a lot of damage. I wonder... Do I ever... Do I ever hurricane my Yi, or do I just wait it out? I think I just wait it out. Because hurricane's not a great item, and I think I wait for a rod. And rod is another item, and rod plus attack speed makes an item called Ginsu. And Ginsu is really like a perfect item on Master Yi, so I think we're going to wait for that. Because the PvE round is right here and it's coming up and gives me a chance at an item. Um, another thing I should mention is that the way this, this lobby works, because it's 8 players and it's all free-for-all, the way it works is if you make in the bottom 4, you're considered a loser and you suck at life. No, but you are considered a loser. And if you make it in the top four, you're considered a winner. So basically what you want to strive for, obviously is number one, but what you'll accept in most case scenarios is a top four situation. And the team that I'm running really won't ever get first place, but it's pretty good at getting a top four situation, which is, which is what I'm going for. Oh, we actually beat that guy. I did not think we were going to beat that guy. And like I said, top four situation is is considered a win. So I don't need any of these items. Um, let's hope that this drops a rod, which is what I need. And if it drops a rod and a, uh, a glove, I can make QSS with this one, which makes me immune to CC. Like any kind of CC effect. Um, and that would be perfect items for my, for my Master Yi right now. But I might want to put them on Yasuo if I get lucky. Because he's going to be my 3 star here. I did not get lucky. I got a Bloodthirster which is actually not bad on my Yi. Is it good enough to put on my Yasuo though is the question. I just got my Yasuo 3 star. I think we do put... I think we do put Bloodthirster on Yasuo. 
Put it on Yi. Is it better on, on Master Yi? I'll trust my chat's opinion on this. And Runans? I, I don't have Runans. Alright, um... Alright. So let's see what we got here. I hit a really, really big, um... I hit a really big power spike by getting my 3-star Blitzcrank and my 3-star Yasuo. So now I'm trying to get my 3-star um, Sona right here. I'm one away. How much health does my Yi have? I will show you in a second. Probably not that much. It looks like maybe 1,200. Yeah, 1,300. See, I got a Yi. But I need like... Items like Bloodthirster and Hand of Justice are good on Yasuo because they apply on-hit effects. Oh, I didn't know that. See, that's perfect. That's why I wanted to stream while making this video. So, this... This Bloodthirster actually would have been really good on my Yasuo. Because my Yasuo is 3-star. But, you know, it's still relatively early in the game. This guy's incredibly strong. I don't think I win this fight. Oh, I did win this fight. Holy crap. Okay. I did win this fight. I did not think I would. That guy's really strong. That guy's the number one player right now. Keep that Yi health. I can't see it. Oh, yeah, I can. 1350. The max HP, dude. Oh, I got my Sona upgrade. Look at the ability. For 5 seconds, Master Yi gains massively increased movement speed, heals for 10% of his maximum health a second, and deals 100 bonus damage. True damage. That's good. Alright, so basically, right now, uh, I'm going to put this Giant's Belt on my my Shen, because he's pretty much the only frontline I have. And now I'm going for Shen 3 and Yasuo 3. I'm very far away from Yasuo 3, though. It seems like this guy positioned exactly for me, so I'm not sure how close I'm going to be in this one. No, I lost this one. Yeah, this guy positioned exactly for me. He zephyred all of my good units. He has two zephyrs and he zephyred both of my units. Okay, I'm one loss away from losing the game, so... I need to start rolling down. Oh, an IE would be insane for my, my Master Yi. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I got an IE. Um, he has that Thurster on? Yeah, he does. Master Yi has a Blood Thurster on. I could remake and get a t another 2-star Master Yi and put Thurster, IE, and GA on him instead of going for a 3-star. We'll see. Um, it works on Yasuo as well, though. Let's roll down for a second, see if we hit anything. Master Yi... I mean, I'm not really hitting any Yi's here. I think I'm just gonna put this on my Yasuo here. I missed a Shen there. Oh, ye. If I win this game, or if I win this fight right here, I can purchase this. Because whenever you win a fight, you get one gold just for winning the fight, which is really strong. I don't think I will be able to, though. Uh... Okay. 
Oh, we won it. Nice. Okay. So I got the Master Yi. Nice. I'm one loss away. Um, from losing the game. So... I really need to, uh... To spend all my gold every round. It's like the only way, really. That I can get a top four situation. This is Shen right here. I want this. Uh, that Velkaz is going to kill my whole team. Yeah. That Velkaz just killed my whole team. If it casts again, I lose. It didn't cast again. Okay. You know? Maybe it's not over yet. I still have my my Yi and my Yasuo carrying me. Alright, we killed him. Well, we didn't kill him, but we beat him. By the Shen. I think... I have six gold. Oh my god, that's three items. Rabadons? Could help my heal quite a bit. Rub it on on Yasuo, really? It applies on hit effects. I definitely rub it on my Sona, I think. I jeweled Gauntlet. I don't know. I Gauntlet. Dueled Gauntlet on Blitzcrank. Really? Okay, hold on. First I level up and I put in Shen, another Shen. Because, um... I'm scared about dying. I Rabadon's my Sona so that her heals are stronger. I definitely Infinity Edge... My Yi. I think I two... I put that, and then I just jewel gone on my Blitzcrank, probably. I think that's probably the play. So, Infinity Edge is right here. They actually can stack. And what they do is they double your crit damage. So, whenever this guy ults somebody, they should just die. Straight up. All right, good win. Good win. Oh, look, look at my screen. When your screen glows like that on the sides, that means you've made a top four. That means I have officially counted this as a win. Um, nice. I think I will roll down for Shen or Yi though. Cause I just missed a Yi, fuck. Three Shakos, what the hell? Okay. Oh, this guy is so strong and he has two Zephyrs for my good units. He Zephyred my healer and my front line. Oh yeah, I'm dead as shit. Damn. Well, you know what? I got third place. Not bad. Um, Might as well watch it to the finish, right? Only two people left. You missed two Yees? Yeah, I know. I know. I played really sloppy in terms of my, um, my team comp that time. I could have probably had a three-star Master Yi. And I had an item on him that didn't need to be on him. But other than that, I mean, that was pretty, that was pretty good. That's the first time, that's the first time I've ever played the, the Bang Bros comp. And we got a third, which is pretty good, you know, I'll take it. Oh my gosh. Did he just win? Wow, he won. All right. Well, cool. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to stop by my Twitch channel where I stream TFT some days. And like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. And yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.